These flowers would be perfect for a flower girl. Um, Miss Yannicka? These flowers, is that part of your protection spell or anything? Oh no. Those were part of a disenchantment spell I was working on from inside the prison. I was attempting to reconstruct the enchanted rose to see if I could break the spell. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yannicka. Winfrieda tricked me into taking it. Never mind. What's done is done. You are my savior in the end, regardless. Please, do what you will with the flowers. They are yours. I'm not sure I've ever seen such beautiful flowers. My gosh, these should definitely be good enough to use as a flower girl. Can I ask you one last favor? Huh? The queen, Yannicka, she's doing something really important, so make sure you take good care of her, okay? I can't say for certain what might happen back at the castle, but when it's over, the people, her son, they'll need her. You understand that, right? <laughs> Fine, yes, yes. Rink Rink understands, yes. <laughs> Good, good. All right. Thanks, Rink Rink. I guess I better get going now. <sighs> then if all goes well, Ben will be safe, and she won't need to stay there anymore. So you head back and wait for her. You got it? <laughs> you got it, I know. Thanks as always, Red Dragon. <sighs> right. Back to the flower girl thing, then. I have the flowers now, at least. But what else was there? Well, now I have... I have everything, actually. Hey, I can get into the wedding now. All right, okay. Whew. This is it. Time to go get Ben and prepare ourselves. All right, there. I'm all changed now, Ben. Oh, wow, look at you. You look beautiful, Anna. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Hopefully the butler feels the same. So, we head to the hall. I pretend you're pulling me along. And I tell him you're a wedding present. Yeah, got it. Hmm, well, with my clothes, at least I'll kind of look like me. <laughs> More so than a naked teddy bear. This is it, huh? You'll be okay, Ben. Just stay close to me, all right? This isn't going to be easy, but it has to work. It just has to. Those bells, what does that mean? Oh, I remember them. They always did that when... Mm, when was it? Oh, yes. They rang them whenever a royal procession had started. You mean like a wedding? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. And they've already started. There's no time to waste. Quickly, to the throne room. Dearly beloved, we gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Not to be entered into lightly, holy matrimony. Yes, yes, get on with it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yes, well, if any person here can show why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony... I do! Winfrieda is tricking you, all of you. And here is Prince Bernard to prove it. This is absurd. The crazed girl intends to pass all the stealth bearers, our beloved prince. Please, just wait. Guards, seize this criminal at once. No. Guards, stand down. I am your true queen and you will do no such thing. Listen and listen well. This woman has indeed deceived you all. Because of her, I was forced to flee for my safety. But it is time to put an end to this. No. She is a liar, a trickster, a witch of evil, selfish intention. And above all, from as far back as her childhood. No. No. A murderer. <laughs> no.
everybody. You must leave now. Please, hurry. Frida. Ah! Oh! Jeez, you scared me. Are you even listening? Yes, Mother. Winfrida, you know as long as we are within these walls, you do not refer to me that way. You refer to me as your teacher, Mrs. Vogt. Yes, Mrs. Vogt. Listen to me. The Wanderer will come to pass the decisions of the Norns any day now. Your witchcraft studies are still far from where they need to be, and yet you continue to disobey me. All day you disrupt and fall behind the others. Are you not concerned about your future? But that's my point. It doesn't concern me. You never listen to me. I have. Over and over I listen. There are more pressing matters at hand right now. But the scientific evidence me and Hans have found shows that... Enough. I am in no mood to listen to your science prattle, Winfrieda. You need to take this more seriously. This is the rest of your life we're talking about. Well, I don't want to spend the rest of my life being what you want me to be. You know very well that word is more than just your choice of career, Winfrieda. If you continue to ignore even the basics of the school oath, then you aren't going anywhere. That's unfair! All the other kids got to go play! All the other children didn't talk back or argue with me during class. <sighs> Since you seem to have forgotten why you're at this school, we'll stay until you show me you remember. If you don't remember, then consult your notes, Winfrieda. That's what they're there for. This is so unfair. Stupid school and it's stupid weird. <clears throat> Fine. I'll just get this over and done with so I can leave already. 